Good evening, Internet. The Real Shroom here, and tonight uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go back and play Scorn, which is a 2022, late 2022 release by uh, a Serbian developer, Ebb Software. And what is Scorn? Uh, it's kind of like a walking simulator. Uh, it's like a puzzle game, very slow paced, where you walk around um, these alien, to say the least, uh, environments and, and solve puzzles, but really the, the main thing about it is uh, sort of the art style of, of the way the, the levels are built. Uh, it's modeled after like H.R. Geiger, so all the landscapes, all the things you interact with are going to be these like biomechanical, psychosexual things that are super creepy, but super cool to look at, and um, it's going to be very, like, uh, gag-inducing at times, I think, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and give it a playthrough. Now, I did start playing through this when it came out, and I didn't finish. At the time, I grew very frustrated with, like, the lack of direction in the game, um, but I, I do really want to see the end of the game because it looks like it's going to be awesome. Uh, and I think it's going to be great on my new gaming PC. So I'm going to play it through. And it is a relatively short game, which is another thing that I like about it. So anyway, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's get into Ebb Software's Scorn. And if you want to support me, you like my content, please do like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. We are going to start a new game. Yes, I do want to overwrite. All right, and that's that's us. Bonus points if you can figure out what's actually happening in this game. I'm not sure that there is supposed to be like a an actual coherent story here. Yeah, a nice cheery place to visit. So, uh, who built this place? HR Giger? Nice. Not sure what that is exactly, but uh, I'm sure it's it's all in the name of fun. Okay. Now, I know from my previous playthrough that uh, you need like a key to get through doors that have that thingamajig on them. Okay, so we don't yet have the key to open these doors. By the way, uh, the door at the very beginning also had one of these locks, which is why I did not try to open it, because I already knew that I could not.
All right, we got some kind of central chamber, a little pillar in the middle. Interesting. I like all the tubes everywhere. Definitely adds a nice little touch. Good thing we're nice and, uh, you know, svelte. We're not packing much in the way of uh, excess there. It looks like our organs are pretty well exposed. Hey. If that doesn't say stick your hand in me, I don't know what does. activated knife interface thingy okay direction Places in need of some maintenance. We got this kind of track running on the ground. Some kind of machine here. I know what this is for. We're not at the point where we need to use it yet. So there's this, like, seat thing on the track. And another machine here. Which also does something. no music just the creaks and groans of this horrible horrible place I got distracted for one moment and now I don't remember where I am am I going deeper in yeah
Okay. So we've got another machine here. So the track leads over there. Where there's this claw that does something. This claw also rotates over here. Alrighty then. I like how you can you can actually see how everything works. Like, you know, there's a the track that the little claw moves on and it rotates as you operate it with the controls and stuff. It's very carefully like thought out how it all works. Okay, and that controls like some kind of buzz saw. That looks fun. So you probably don't want to be sitting there when this button gets activated. Okay, I guess they just have redundant tubes like this in case you miss the very first one. So that you don't get stuck. What is all this stuff for? I couldn't tell you. It's all gooified. consoles. And I don't seem to be able to tear my arms off in order to put them here while I activate this one. So we'll have to find another solution. Okay. I think that's an elevator there. And this is another machine. So the track leads up to there. The claw does something. thing. Very strange. Looks like a some kind of ice infernal ice cream scooper. here too but that's sealed off
Okay, and we do have this pillar in the middle here. Ooh, it's bright up there. So this thing we've seen what it does, it activates that claw. What's up with this pillar here? Stick our face into it. Okay, it looks like we use it to control the track. Interesting. That's our exit there. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Um, I wonder what that's for. And why it's, you know, shaped like a skull. This is the buzzsaw thingy. Why, there's so many of them. What is all this stuff? the collapsed tunnel. There's no map or anything. Um, just one of the things I got a little frustrated with the first time I tried to play this game, like there is no guidance whatsoever. <laughs> you are on your own. So uh, I'm not going to be coy about like looking stuff up online if I get stuck because I want to finish this game. But this first part I know how to do. Because I did get through it. Alright, so we take this elevator up. There's tracks up here, too, with... What the heck is this? What is it used for? What's going on? Here's another door with a key, but we don't have the key. A lock, rather. We don't have the key for it. Okay. Another locked door. Here's like a central area. This is where the uh, elevator is, right? Yeah. There's this central area. And this is a puzzle.
so what we have to do see there are these egg looking things on this wall and see these two eggs have like two lights at the top what we have to do is first get this egg and then the second one to this spot over here so we can grab these things and like slide them around and this one is by itself right so you gotta figure out how to get the bright eggs to that spot on the upper left and this is just the one to like show you what you're doing, so it's real easy. And then once you do that, you come over here, and that claw will grab it and stick it on the conveyor. Oh, oops. Dropped it. Well, it, it tried. Alright, so now we gotta get the second one with the two lights on it. Now, let's see. Is this by itself or is it attached to something? It's a double. That one doesn't move. one is a too wide it's it's too tall so we're gonna have to clear out this area here we know that much because since it requires two spaces vertically and since this is blocked we're gonna have to unblock this whole area up here is this a onesie or a twosie that's a twosie So we're gonna have to move stuff out of the way. Ah, oh, that doesn't work though. I think that's a four. That's a one. Yes. So let's get this out of the way. Let's move this. Pretty sure this is a four, and that it needs to move like down over here. stuff out of the way so that we can move this four block here okay now that frees up a bunch of space where we can put stuff that's a vertical two block That's the that's the one we need to that's the solution. That's what we need to get to need to get into place. Put that one here. Move this 
this out of the way. Grab this guy. Good. Is this gonna work? This might actually work. space. This is complicated. This is very complicated. this one out too. Very complicated, yes. It's doable. We're very close. Yeah, 
I gotta figure out a way to get that last one, or one of those ones, into there. So let's try this. Move that all back. stupid thing here is blocking it all off. So I gotta figure out a way to get this up here. That's the key. So let's again move this as far as we can out of the way. this works. So now we can go like this. Now we can get that tucked up here. Push everything back. Okay, we got it now. Now we can go like this. Move this out of the way for the time being. I think we got it now. space. to be there though.
Yikes. This is a tough puzzle. around vertically because there's it can't go any further wait maybe if I do something like this I think I got it I think I got it okay then it goes over here yeah there we go now this can go back on top, and we're home free. Down there, back up, voila. Okay. We got it. And now we just activate this guy. Grab our egg thing, whatever it is. Whoa, there's like a dude inside it. What the heck? That's not normal. the bottom of this conveyor thing in the floor below. with one of these horrible apparatuses. And one of these machines... will pluck our friend. Yep, see? There, there he is. Sure, it looks awful comfy. Uh, hello there. Keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times. Oh, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me at all, you're horrible. <laughs> okay, so where do we want to take this guy is a question. So we can either like kill this guy or we can save him. I don't think there's a difference. I think in the first time I played it, I killed him. So let's try to save him. So as it is, the track is gonna lead him to the dead end which we don't want.
I mean, maybe it's better to kill him, honestly. <laughs> Just put him out of his misery. Because uh, that looks horrible. Oh, but first things first. I think we need to, like, crack his egg open. shaved a little bit off his casing. Uh, he's acting like he's in pain, but, uh... So as it is, he's gonna head to this dead end. So we don't want that. How about the one after that? The one after that... directs him over to here, and this is where he dies. So let's not do that either. So then the third one down from where he is... See, these are like rotating plates. It's already heading off the tr main track. And I think this is the one we want. Yeah, this heads over to this chamber, which actually saves him, I believe. Okay, so we want the next two plates to lead him straight down the track in the middle of the room. So he's there. Alright, we want that one to keep going in the middle, and that one to keep going in the middle. I think that's what we want. So maybe we're making the, the cruel decision by keeping keeping him alive, but just for the sake of variety. All right, so we keep rolling past this plate. Keep rolling past this plate. Dude, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. Okay, I think we're doing the right thing. You're pretty, pretty deformed there, buddy. Okay, so set him right here. And now we can use this claw thing. Extract him. Looks very comfortable. And have a seat. Oh, it turns him around, huh? Okay. Shove him face first in there, sure. He 
he sounds like he's okay. Let me use this little buzzsaw here. Very carefully designed. Surgical precision. Look, he's okay. He's totally fine. Doesn't quite look human, really. Look, buddy, uh, I need like another pair of arms. Can you help me out? Boy, the ceiling just looks so menacing, <laughs> so messed up. Ugh built this place. Okay, follow me. Come on, you can walk, right? So, I need your arms. I've chosen to let them- let you keep them attached to your body. Okay, but I think he needs- he needs to stick his hand in here first. Because he doesn't have the, uh, the thing on his hands. Yo, come on, buddy. This way. Get up. Lumps. Get your hand in there. Okay, so he's got his little wrist mounted thingy. So now help us open this door, please. I just need to find it. Oh, he's gone. He's wandering out this way. Okay. Is this the way to go? Oh, yes. This is the door. So you stick your hand here. I'm gonna have to yank you again. Please stick your hand in that little interface thing. It's gonna be just fine. Alright, and we can do the other one. Alright, 
enjoy the rest of your life. Oh, your arm's like permanently stuck in there, huh? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, the door closed behind us. save wherever doesn't really I think that was the end of the first part though ah, that's an interesting device there that we have. And these weapons are all pretty bad. The combat is pretty frustrating and bad in this game. This is our little, like, penis ram gun. Yeah, creepy music now. So, these weird pillars, these weird polyps on them. Here, who knows? You gotta poke these things, they're full of goo. Oh, they just like spray their goo all over everything. So what are we trying to do here? We've got an interface. A 
right, and there's this loader thing. Okay. Yeah, grab that, that pillar. And shove it in that hole. terminal. She does something. is Looks like there's another pillar over there. Just waiting. There we go. Let's go ahead and snag that one. Shove it in that hole over there. Okay. Another terminal. That did something. So there's one more hole up there. Way here that was sealed off. It was doesn't lead anywhere though. somewhere not that's obvious
Okay. Now what do we do? Let's make sure we look at every nook and cranny. Do we interact with this already? Yes. this here. Okay, I think this is the wrong way. Yeah, this is the elevator that took us here. everything we need to do is in that chamber that we've been in. Okay, that was the very first pillar that we grabbed. things. Some of them just stay way too high for me to reach. Something else that you need to do with this probe? I think so. We just gotta find a third pillar somewhere. I got past this the first time. I don't remember what I did, though. Oh, it's letting me use this again? Or is this a totally different one? I don't know if this is a different one of these, or the same one that's just now it's active again.
you are. Spraying your goop all over the place. Okay, so now we have the third pillar loaded there. there for it. Just pop that right in. in it. Oh well, just lie down right here. Probably a totally different character. right in the middle of our stomach. Well, there's a number of dead things here. Humans? here really quite seems to be human. We seem to be outside. That is a giant cliff face of some kind. Smoggy. Oh, 
That's interesting. Which way do we go? I do like the kind of purplish tint to everything. Nice little archway here. intestines on the ground. I think so. I think I got turned around. actually more than one of these archway things, but I think this is the right direction. Yeah, they're like wearing spacesuits or something? I don't know. Okay, there's some kind of big spire. Yes, is where we're headed. indoors now. Interesting. Is the door here? Nope.
over here or here? This looks like a nice orifice. Oh, that's a nice tentacle. I like the slime dripping from the ceiling. Something crawling over there. Whoa. Hello there. And I don't have my, my penis gun either. You're friendly, right? So what's up with this place? Can't interact with that yet. Or that. Red light, always a bad sign. Oh, look, here's a dude. Okay. And this uh, decoder ring thing. So let's see. I think these are puzzles here. Okay, so it has to get through to the next lower la la layer. And then there. There we go. I still don't have a key to open doors like that. And this is where, like, the final puzzle of the level is. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, but it hit itself. Okay. This doorway stayed open, though. Because I need all four, like, four levels of my decoder ring solved. Where's this go? again, huh? Okay, so we go inside this giant heart-like thing. Okay, now we have this controller. So there's three different passageways we can take. I'll also take the leftmost one. Decoder ring. Three, four, five. Every fifth one, it looks like. Here? I thought we had it. Three, four, five. Sit down here. Okay. Had it. Got it. Okay. Got our second decoder ring. You on this floor? Not really. This is where we came from. Oh, there's this. I don't have a thingy. My left hand. It's like a baby's bottom. Alright, so I want to go all the way back through. Okay, so we came from there, I think, because we were the first passageway on the left from that passage. So that means that the next passageway would be this one. In order, going to the left. Giant fan. 
coming in. What's over here? this. Turn off the fan. Oh, there's multiple fans. Well, this thing is a, a penis gun, so that's good, I guess. Gained a little bit of extra mass, but we were on the on the skinny side. back down this side tunnel. Dog brick barking outside freaked me out. <laughs> and... Now I can get past these fans to get to whatever's back here. Another decoder ring. There's an elevator. Let's see where it leads. Alright, one of those things, finally.
Okay. We still don't have that key. There was a thing that we needed our left hand done for, but I don't remember where it is. Don't remember where that is. Okay, this is the main elevator. There was a switch somewhere. That required us to have our left hand thing. Is it right down the elevator? nowhere. Okay, this is the area behind the fan. leads us back to this tube way thing. So then the next tube would be the next one to the left. And this one is blocked by a green bodies. Okay. Next one over, which should be the first tube that we were in. If I recall correctly. That little elevator leads down. But we don't have all the decoder rings yet. for us. No, it still closes up right away. Okay. switch somewhere that needed us to have the left wrist thingy, but I don't remember where it was. Alright, this is the original tube that we came to this section through. So 
let's again start on the leftmost passageway. Just backtrack. Alright, there's only one way to go, which is through here. This was the decoder. Here we go. Okay, there's some kind of chunkiness in there, too. So I think we're done here. Now where do we go? The left? I think that was the one that was locked up, right? not okay this is the very first one so let's try the one on the far right from here which would have been the last one that we took a look at yeah there's all the dissolved stuff that was there so I believe this is the right way Coder ring number four? No? Yes.
Third time. One, two, three. I just can't catch it. Definitely get stuck on the bottom. <sighs> Why is it not working? It's not on the bottom. Maybe it's the one to the left. Yeah, I think it's the one to the left. I think it's the bottom. <laughs> Oh no, it was. It was the one to the left of the bottom. Okay, there we go. Trying to get tricky by blocking our view of it. Alright, we've got our full decoder ring. And we want to go... To the left most one, which I think is the first one. Okay, this is the center. Here we go down. our full decoder ring. Get those pods in place. Now there's another puzzle here, I think. Go. 
All right, we got our key. And whatever the heck that thing is, I think it's like an ammunition case for us or something. Oh, hi. Yeah, he crawls out and just dies. Seems to be a popular thing to do around here. Okay, but now I have a key. Maybe it's on this level somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. All right, now we can unlock these doors. Remote control. Love the purple, purple misty skies. Another door. Elevator. Buddy, what's going on? We, we had a good thing going. Okay, I think that means... Twenty-one, twenty-two. Checkpoints. All right, it's a little hard to tell, but uh, I think we got a checkpoint there. So I'm gonna call it, because I don't know where the saves are. I think they're like in each chapter break and another one's not coming probably for a while. So. That is Scorn. So far, so good. I mean, so far, so scornful. It's an absolutely stunningly beautiful game. Um, like, really, unlike anything else I've ever played as far as, like, art design and the ambiance, the sound design is so great. Um, and I think we've gotten through, like, the easier parts so far. Um, the puzzles will become more complicated as we go forward, but um, I want to get through it because uh, the ending of this game, from what I've uh, seen and read, is pretty spectacular, so I do want to play this game through all the way to the end, and it's not really that long, so we'll get through it this time. Uh, I'm excited to share this on my channel because it is such a unique and, and gorgeous game, in a very disgusting, grotesque way, of course. 
But anyway, that's going to do it for part one of Scorn. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I hope to see you in part two. Have a gooey rest of your evening.